Hello, I'm really glad you could join me today was going to be a exercise class which involves a resistance band, a small loop band, so I'm going to go for a medium, and I'm also going to be using five kilogram weights, and sometimes it's a single weight, sometimes it'll be used in pairs. We are going to be doing circuits which could be 30, 10. So again, we're going to be really small recovery each time, and what we'll be doing is we'll be doing six rounds into each exercise. So we need to go to Mac, it's going to be on the floor, and you will need a bottle of water, take water whenever you want to, and we will get started with that warm-up. So just grab those things, put them by, and get ready to go. So here we go, in four, three, two, one. Okay, going to do this for the knee. Rib cage down and in, arms just in that little rainbow, over the top. Yeah, now I'm going to kick out either side, my arms come up at the side little kick out. Okay, feel you really get that crank from the shoulder. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. Rib cage down and in. Now bigger still, goes over the top, over the top. Okay, four, three, I'm going to do a step leg curl, step leg curl. Driving those elbows back. Remember getting a little bit of a peck squeeze when you get those arms to come across each other at the front. Tension on my abs, using that hamstring to get that leg up. Yeah, squeeze it back. Drive those elbows really nice and strong. Now I'm just going to double it up. So just do me a double. Good, two more doubles. I'm going to walk forward into a V-step. Wide, narrow. Drop down on the wide. Keep the arms moving, get it to work. Dropping it down, change legs over your leading leg, get that V for me. Arms still going. Good, you got another four. Two more. I'm gonna take a step touch, out and back. Yeah, so tension on the abs. Get those arms long, but the shoulders are back and down and in. Now give me that lift. Squeeze it into the waist. I'm going to tap here. Just open out the arms. Feel that little squeeze between the shoulder blades. Can have your thumbs moving backwards. Good. Now I'm going to do a little step touch. Pecs. That tap. Bring the arms back. That little step touch with the pecs working for me. Squeeze those elbows together. Shoulders down. Four, three, two. Just a light, little light jog. Out and in. Feel like you can almost not hear your feet on the floor there. Good, so got your abs pulled in. Just a little out and in. Good, four, three, two, one, and well done. We'll get ready to do our first circuit. 30 on and 10 off. I'm going to use just the one five weights here. It's going to be a one squat, come up, goes over my head, and then I'm going to lunge back here, over my head, and then back into your squat, and you can change legs on your lunge. And we will be going for six rounds through. Okay, grab a weight that you can work with that will challenge you for those six rounds. Here we go. In three, two, one, core pulled in. I'm getting that drop over my head, I step back, come back, over my head, get me that squat again, over your head, lunge it back, remember to really get that drop, and then back over your head, all the time my rib cage, down and in, that'll be good, I lunge back, come up, over the head, on that up, good, my squat, elbows to my thighs, my rib cage down and in, that weight just travels with me, three, two, one, and we get ready to go again. Now start in my spot. Core pulled in, facing just towards the front there, and I drop down, goes over my head, into that low lunge, then over your head again with that core working for you. Back into your squat, <laughs> you're about to do a lunge back, and over your head, and then the lunge back, over your head again. Good, so you get this up and over. Lovely, lunge back with that weight. Feel that work over the front of the back leg. Good, I'm doing that squat again. Three, two, one. Well done, two out of six already done. 
on my first round. Okay, three, two, one. Drop down, over your head with that rib cage down and in, into that lunge, back over the head again. That'll be good. So the work coming is gonna come with those different circuits each time, but also with that four minutes of work. I'm lunging back, I'm coming over the top. I drop down, and I'm keeping that strength the whole time, away from the middle. Three, two, one. Good work. Halfway through this first set, three more to do. I go starting that squat. So again, just looking at a place in front of me in my zip and hollow one. Three, two, one. Here we go. There, over the head. Lunge it back. Come up. Good. So again, I'm now my third one out of six. Fourth one out of six. Good, and over the head. Lunge back. Over the head. Give me that squat. And each time I'm going over the head, I'm really keeping that core pulled in the whole time. Into that squat. Three, two, one. Well done. And then the last two circuits. 30 minutes of work in each of those, so a full minute of work. Here we go. Three, two, one. I mean, my squat. Nice straight back, remember, into your squat each time. Get low in that lunge, so make sure the legs work. Okay, drop. Over your head. Down. Good, into that squat. Really feel those shoulders being pulled back down each time. And then your shoulders end up over your hips when you do me that lunge. Three, two, one. One. Are we ready for our last one before we move on? Next one's going to be a band. It'll be a whole six minutes, uh, four minutes with a band. Six times through. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm getting that drop over my head. Lunge back. Come back up and over the head again. Drop. Then that lunge. Over the head again. Right into my squat. Nice straight back all the time and as I go back into that lunge you can see that my shoulders are over my hips good work rib cage down and in especially on those lifts three two one and good work well done we are moving on so safely put the band on if it means sitting down or holding on to something do just putting one foot in going around the ankles then put the other foot in then it's nice and flat it's going to be around my ankles it's going to be the squat with the alternate lifts. Zip and hollow on the whole time. I'm going to do that for three different rounds. Okay, are we ready to go? Core pulled in. Nice strong stance. Three, two, one. My squat, my lift. Squat, lift it out. Now, be aware that when you get that lift, that you haven't gone to the side. You've got that outside of that leg working for you each time. And then out. Squat and out. Good work, well done. Just out at the side. Up. Three, two, one. And good work, you're 10 seconds off. Just enough time to think about what you're doing again on the next one. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. Back into my squat. Remember, nice, straight back each time. You've pushed your hips back, over your heels, your abs are pulled in. So again, when I get to the top, I've got that strong stance so I can get that lift out with my leg. Good, get that up. Three, two, one. We're ready for our last one before I'm gonna move that band up and we're going to do a walk. Still with those legs working for me, still the outside thighs. Three, two, one, here we go. Drop and lift. Lovely, good. So really warming up those outside thighs. They're going to be working for me again. In that walk with the band still around my legs. Good, here we go. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Lovely, good. 
I'm in my squat. I'm going to do two walks, and then half a walk with a drop down. Remember, don't drop through your lower back. Drop through your legs. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I've dropped into a squat position. I move it along. Then half to get down in the middle. That'll be good. One, two, another half to get down through the middle. And notice I'm dropping through my legs. I'm not dropping by bending over. So it's no bowing. I get that walk. Lovely, good. Really working those glutes. And again, back in. One, two, three. And good work. Stay here. And we're going to do it again. Two more times. On those beeps, three, two, one. I get into my squat. My shoulder blades pull back down and in. My core pulled in. So I know I'm not going to lean over. I get that walk, that walk. Using the outside of the thighs and then using both thighs to get that drop down. One, two, down through the middle. Go work. Don't come all the way up. Remember, stay in that walking squat. Lovely, good. Back in. Good. Okay. Last few seconds of the second time round, then one more time round. Three, two, one, and good work. Well done. Let's give that a little roll. Now get ready to go again. My last time on those walks. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, and then that half drop. Come back in. Good. Core pulled in the whole time. Stay low in your squat. Shoulders back and down. Nice straightness on that lower back. Don't roll over, especially not here, to get the drop. Drop down. Good work. Last few seconds now. Or this last bit of the round. Three, two, one. And good work. Well done. Let's we'll take a little water break there. And we're coming onto the floor. Okay, so safely take that band off your legs. If you need to sit down to do it too. Then I'm moving onto the floor with my weights. This time I'm going to use my double five kilogram weights. Go with what you perceive to be quite heavy, but ones that you can do all the way through on. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be six times round, which is four minutes of work, and it's going to be one tricep drop to my forehead, one over my head with all the time, my rib cage down and in, my shoulders back down and in. You can add a leg, which I will show you as we get going. Okay, are we ready? We're on the floor. I'm here. I'm gonna do it without legs, just for the first one, just so you can get those arms correct. My elbows are squeezed together, and then I get that over my head, so I can really feel on my core there. Drop down, tricep, then over your head for the next one. My feet for the moment, just on the floor, just once I get those arms perfect, and that upper body work, working for me. Lovely, good. Three, two, one. Good work. This time, I am gonna add a leg, up to you whether you want to add a leg, and also how far your leg goes out. So here we are. I've got that tricep drop and I have dropped a leg out. On my next one, over my head, it's just the other leg. Good, so again, you can go low on that leg. You can do a little half leg where you've kept that bend at the knee, but just opened up at the hip. Core pulled in the whole time, no matter which one you're doing. Lovely, good. You should be able to really feel it now, especially if you've got that heavy weight and you've got doubles. Feeling it on those arms. Lovely, three, two, one, and good work. I rest it over here, just to rest my arms and my hip flexors. Three, two, one, here I go again. So, I get one drop, all the way through, lovely, good. This is gonna take me halfway through this circuit. Again, so down to the forehead, and then the arms come over the head, so it's really working my core on that one. Lovely, good over the head, drop it down, three, two, one, good work, well done, three more times, with or without the legs, up to you, that legs, putting that in, is the extra challenge.
challenge. Three, two, one, and here we go. Lovely, good. Shoulder blades in contact with the floor all the time. Good work. Two more after this. Keep focused. That zip and hollow on. Rib cage down in. Three, two, one. Ah. Go on those heavy weights. You're really going to feel it on those triceps. Okay. Three, two, one. Here we go. Tricep drop. I'm just going to change my legs. So then on my big one over my head there, I've just changed legs. So up to you. That'll be good. Rib cage down and in all the time. Over the head. Good, again. We can keep that sip and hollow on as well the whole time. Three, two, one. Good work. Are we ready for our last round in this? Our tricep tall flankers. When we finish this one. Three, two, one. Here we go. Work through me to the end there. Down, up, over the head. Just alternate legs, so whatever works for you, all the way out, or just a little bit, whatever challenges you, makes you fitter and stronger. Lovely, good. Keeping my shoulders on the floor. Keeping those pressed together, those way. Three, two, one, and well done. Good work. We are changing over to the bands now. So I'm going to be still lying on the floor, but with the band over both feet, like that. And they are on my instep. I am going to put one part of that band just under the lip of my trainer, and I'm going to be using the front of my thigh and my core, and it's going to be alternates each time, just alternates. Lovely good. Okay, are we ready to go? We're lying on our backs, our zip and hollow is on, it's about your core, here. So, we're just gonna do alternates for that first one, there, and back down, that's it, good. Just so we get the action right, that's it, we feel that glute has work to do as it pushes all the way down. I'm really fighting against that band. Remember, if you feel this is too much, you can go to the floor with one here. That is still working the front of that leg, which is where we're going. Good work, well done. Okay, just hug them in. And now we're gonna go with just one leg only, so it's really gonna build the work up on the front of that other thigh. Are we ready? Here we go. We push it out and back. And this one comes in slightly, but can't come in too much because it's just near my hip anyway. But the work will really build up on the front of that thigh even in that 30 seconds. Hands just down by the side. Remember it can be here, where my heel's going to the floor. Or if you can, all the way out, really squeeze that glute at the end. Three, two, one, good work. And then I'm gonna go all the time on the other leg. Okay, I'm up, my zip and hollow is on. And I'm pushing away. That's it. Really feel that you can get, if you can, get that leg long and low. Pushing out my rib cage down and in. My abs are pulled in. And then that front of thigh, where it's going to keep me that stabilized as well. And just slightly moving forward to get the most out of that movement. Really working the fronts of those thighs. Pushing away. Three, two, one. And good work, well done. Ready for the next set? Back to that beginning, of that thigh, all the way through. Okay, three, two, one, and here we go again. Just on that one leg, pushing away with the other leg. Lovely, getting it long and straight. When you feel that you're opening up with that hip flexor, the other hip flexor is really having to work hard for me. That front of thigh to keep that tension up, and my zip and hollow. My rib cage down and in, my abs are pulled in. Push away. Lovely, good. 
fairly relaxed on your top half. Three, two, one. And good work. Well done. Hug it in or let them go down, whatever works for you. Here we go, all the way through on that other leg before I do my last one, which is alternates. Okay, coming up and pushing away. Good, push it away. Really get that leg nice and low and long if you can. Feel confident about your super hollow being on, so my hips absolutely steady, my lower back against the floor, my belly button pulled in towards my spine, my rib cage down and in, so all my abs are working for me. Lovely, good, and pushing it out each time. Three, two, one, and well done. Are we ready for our last one, which is the alternates? We started with it, and we're gonna finish with it. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. Just alternates pushing away. Lovely, good, just feel that you really get that range of movement. Shoulders go back down onto the floor. 
My head does not, so my head stays up the whole time. Lovely, good, squeeze it in. Lovely, good, just one more of this to finish off this little bit of my circuit. Lovely, good, three, two, one. Good work, well done. I'm just gonna stretch out my hip flexor there, and I'm ready to go again, my last one. Okay, three, two, one, here I come. Up into my clam there, holding onto it. I wanna feel nice and small up here, especially as my arms get out, and then I squeeze up again. Squeezing it in. Yeah, those long abs are starting to complain there. We can use them for that full four minutes. Three, two, one, and good work, well done. We're coming up, and this time I've got the band on again. This is our last round, our last four minutes of work. Okay, I'm putting the bands up just over my knees, and then I turn myself over onto my front. Now, we are using our core, it's gonna be in a bear, so my hands are underneath my shoulders, my knees are underneath my hips, my toes just tucked under, core really pulled in, I come up in my bear, I push away with those legs, and then I come down, and then I do it again. So my pecs, my core, up, outside of my thighs, get that little workout as well. So again, you can have your knees start in that position, just widen your hips or underneath your hips and we'll get ready to go. We've got three rounds of this. Okay, we're up. Three, two, one, here we go. Up, push out, and down. Up, out. Good, so I'm up into that bare stance, and then I get that push out as well. Up, out. Last few seconds now. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And well done. Lovely. Good. Putting those beeps up a bit. Here we go. Three, two, one. Elbows slightly back towards you. Lovely. Good. That core really working for you here. Up. And remember, I'm not coming up too far. Just my knees are just off the floor. Get that work. Three, two, one. Lovely, good. Are we ready for our last one on this, the third one, before I move on to my shoulder tees? Okay, three, two, one. So again, my core, Really helping me here. Get me that lift, get me that out, and back in. Lovely, good. So keeping that nice box shape all the time. Elbows very slightly back, so you can feel it on those triceps. Lovely, good. We have got less than 10 seconds now in single figures. Lovely, good. Feeling on the fronts of my thighs still. My core, three, two, one. And good work, well done. We are coming into the middle here, and I'm going to do, the band could just be around my legs, that is fine. I'm going to do shoulder tees. If you feel you can't do a whole shoulder tee, give me a little squeeze here, and squeeze, so I've turned around. But if you can, it's a full shoulder tee like this here. Go for your legs, don't let your hips take over, and then we're on the other side. Okay, so starting off, and then go half or whole, I'm going whole there, and get me that lift. Lovely, good. Round, feel that work going through that one arm. The arm is directly underneath my shoulder there. Don't have it too far out or too far in. And I just twist through the middle without letting my hips come up. Keep your hips down the whole time. Lovely, good. Out and up. Three, two, one, and good work. You can rest, you can rest in your incline. You can rest in a box. Here we go again. Three, two, one. I come up, I get that turn. Lovely, good. 
good. And get me that lift. Really feel that upper back strength as well. That's through my core. Lovely, good. Each time. Get me that lift. Last few seconds now. Hold that. And then through. Three, two, one. Good work. Are we ready for our last one on this? Our last bit of our last six minute circuit. If you've done great, get over. Keep your knees up and then up. Remember, you can do this with knees on, but you won't get a full turn, obviously, but you'll get that squeeze through the upper half when you do turn your top half. Bottom half staying in that incline. Lovely, good. Just all the way through there now. Three, two, one. And good work. You're coming off that timer. You have finished the time circuit. And we're going to lie on our backs. And we're going to go to something a little bit slower. And we're going to stretch out those hamstrings. So I'm going to use this band. It's up on one leg. Lovely, good. Really try and relax the hip flexor now. So that leg, the weight of the leg is just in the hand. And then I work my hand up those bands and there. My elbow's coming in towards my waist. Then the leg is out at the side. Lovely, good. So it's just going to be either same hand or you can have the opposite hand up to you. You can put that hand out. Lovely, it just comes to a stop at some point. And then I pull it up again to get that inner thigh, back of thigh stretch. Good work. I bend it, I bring it into the middle, I change it over up at the top, I put my other leg in, take my first leg out, try and relax that hip flexor, and then pull that leg in, that sort of dead weight of that leg, just pulling it in, stretching out down the hamstrings. good then coming up opposite hand or same hand I'm going out at the side until it just drops it's not going to drop any further and then I can pull it up as well to that same side on my shoulder get a nice inner thigh back of thigh stretch lovely good coming up I'm going to keep that band just around my ankle to show you that front of thigh stretch use our hip flexors a lot and our front of thigh so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that band just around my ankle. Now you can go, you can go just into a hurdle stretch, that's what we're doing. The zip and the hollow is on. I've sunk right down to the middle, so I know my weight is there. Now try again, relax that leg, but then I start to pull it up. So it becomes almost like a Bulgarian split squat, where I'm really getting that stretch out as that foot has come up without inducing a hamstring cramp, which usually happens if you're trying to lift in this position. So again, just down. Lovely, good. Just let that go to the floor, and then I'm gonna bring that up as a little tricep stretch out as well, keeping my rib cage low, and still sinking through the middle there. Just get that full hip flexor stretch. Lovely, good. As I come back, I'm just going to change legs. If you want to change the band, just change it over now. It goes underneath that other foot, so it's on my ankle. And then I'm going to lunge forward. So lunging forward first and getting into that low position. My sip and hollow is on, my shoulders are over my hips. I sunk into that position and then I get that little pull up. Lovely, good. And again, that front of thigh stretch just gets stronger and stronger the nearer that my foot comes. But the, the leg itself is quite relaxed in that bottom half. I don't have to use my hamstring either to get it up. It's just there, the weight fits in my hands. Lovely, good. And now I've got to relax that off. I'm still sinking through the middle even more. And then with that tricep stretch out. Lovely, good. I'm coming back into that downward dog. I'm just taking that band, if you've used it, off your foot, into that downward dog position, pushing back with the hips, up and back, and using it as an upper back stretch as well. We're going to get the most out of that. 
Okay, up into the balls of the feet, bend the knees, walk the hands back, drop back onto your heels, let your head hang, and then slowly unroll and come up. Lovely, good. I'm just gonna roll those hips around, and then round the other way. Lovely, good. Then the top, rip cage up and out, and then round the other way. Hands come down, big breath in, and then on that breath out and down. Okay, very well done. I hope you enjoyed that, Andrew, teaching it to you. And again, with that 30 and 10, but again, with that really big group of movements, you've got that four minutes worth of work. Okay, I will see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.